So guys, this is Dr. Michael Coe, physical therapist. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to be able to use the Theracane to be able to get more flexibility with your joints uh, to the thoracic spine. So before I get started, uh, if you guys are interested in purchasing the, purchasing the Theracane, I'm gonna provide a link in the description. So uh, if you wanna purchase it, use the link. It is a uh, affiliate link, so I do get a commission, but it'll help me able to make more videos like this. And also, um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. So why on earth, why would you uh, work on the thoracic spine? So obviously if you have pain in between your shoulder blades, that's one reason why you'd be able to wanna use this technique to be able to help pain with that area, right? Or maybe you just feel like things are stuck and stiff. But at the same time, I'm gonna also say that whenever um, you have neck pain, you need to work that area because as you move your neck, the rotation through the cervical spine will then also translate down into to the thoracic spine. So if you actually have limited thoracic spine, that can also cause limited cervical spine. So if you have neck pain, you're doing all the stuff for your neck and it's still not really helping with your neck pain or your neck mobility, you can look into that area as in another area to be able to see if you can get better neck mobility or less neck pain. Another reason would be because you have shoulder pain, just generalized shoulder pain, because the muscles that connect around the shoulder blade, a lot of those have a direct connection to either the neck, also the thoracic spine. So muscles I'm talking about would be the uh, rhomboids, the mid and lower traps would be two major groups that I'm talking about. So if there's a uh, limited mobility within the muscles or muscles can't contract or control itself. It could be because the anchoring points are dysfunctional. And so the thoracic spine could be one of those anchoring points that don't work. So if you can get that to move better, then also you can get the shoulder blade to move better. Boom, changes in your shoulder pain possibly. So if you have uh, pain in all three of those regions, I would highly suggest you check this out. So this is how you do. So I'm gonna turn around. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use this end of the theracane and you're gonna push into your thoracic spine um, to be able to help stretch the joints along with moving your body. Here we go. So T1, the very first thoracic spine is gonna be right around through here. And then you can do this technique anywhere along down. Shoot, I mean. Thoracic spine ends right around through here. But in general, I'll say anywhere in between, the reason why you probably want to use this is going to be anywhere within the shoulder blade region or above. Now we're too worried about below uh, for this video. So what I'm going to do is you can't really push in the very center because there's this uh, spiky bony piece that comes out called the spinous process. So if you're in the middle, you can come out to the side just a tiny bit and be on one side. And then what you can do is if you're pushing in between the shoulder blades, what you could do is you could push forward right? Get a little purchase into the muscles and get into the bones. And then what you want to do is you want to turn your body at the same time. Make sure the cane is being following your body. I'm going to go up a little bit higher. I'm going to turn. So I'm going to suggest to do a rotation. One, because thoracic spine uh, moves best in rotation. And also, um, I want to say that's probably going to be the easiest one to do since you guys most likely, if you're watching this video, you're not a physical therapist, uh, you're not understanding uh, the specificity of joint mechanics. Uh, try to do the thing that probably you can be able to make sense of maybe be able to get the best bang for your buck. I'm going to say rotations would be, be that motion. So, what you can do is you're going to be pushing forward again, adding a rotation. So, you want to do that all along that thoracic spine. But what ends up happening is you get up a little bit closer to this is right around here is the top part of the shoulder blade. Around there, what ends up happening is, I'm gonna suggest that you're gonna get a little better um, improvements with this technique if you actually move your cervical spine. Because there's supposed to be motion uh, all the way through the upper thoracic spine and below with head motion, but there's a good amount of motion that occurs in the upper thoracic spine with head motion. Where when it gets to a certain point, as you turn your head, there's le there's as lower you go, uh, there's less motion in the thoracic spine with head motion. But there's a lot in the upper thoracic spine. So when you get to the point where you can feel the top part of your shoulder blade around there, I'm going to suggest if you want to get motion, push forward with the cane and then add a head motion instead. So in this case, right rotation if you're pushing on the left side. So head motion. Head motion. All right, so I'm gonna do that again from uh, looking at here, just look at my hands. My hands are here. I'm gonna be pushing forward and getting a little bit of pressure and then adding either head motion, if it's along the top part of the shoulder blade or above or below that area, I'm gonna add a body rotation or body turn. Now, here's another trick you wanna do. See if you can see from here. 
So if I step back, if I turn my body, I actually don't want to have much motion in the, in the pelvis. So my belly button should be pointing straight as I turn. If I start moving the pelvis and the belly button turns with me, then what's happening is you're gonna get rotation through the legs into the feet. And so that means you're gonna get more hip motion, less spine motion. So if you wanna get more spine motion, you gotta make sure your feet are locked, your pelvis is locked, belly button's uh, pointing straight as you rotate to get more spine motion to get that joint to move a little bit better. All right, so I already showed you to be able to move the joints by using the cane to go forward, but here is another tricky way to be able to get more motion through the thoracic spine. So uh, I mentioned earlier in the video about the, in the very middle, there is a, a piece of bone that sticks out from your spine called the spinous process. So you can use that to push against to be able to get more motion through, through, through your uh, thoracic spine. So I'm gonna turn around and show you, there's two other ways you can do this. I'm still gonna be adding the rotation or the head motion, okay? But what I want you to do is, uh, instead of pushing forward, what you can also do is get on the other side, right? So if I'm going to turn to the right, I'm gonna get onto, not the center, but to the right of it, dig in, hook that bony piece in the very middle of your body, and actually pull, as I push forward, hook it, and then I'm gonna pull out to the left, to be able to, and then turn at the right side. So that's another way you can be able to get more motion in the thoracic spine. So you can do that up and down the spine, pull forward, hook to the left. All right, so actually I'm up a little bit higher, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a head turn. So I'm gonna be pulling, I'm gonna be pushing forward in the beginning, and as I turn my head, I'm gonna be pushing my hands to the left, but as I come back to the middle, I'm not gonna pull as much, and it'll be just pulling forward. See, this one takes a little more coordination and timing. So that's one way you can do it. Uh, another way you can do it is, if I were to still work on the right rotation, I can now go to this, the other side, and I can, on that same bony piece, I push on the, uh, to find the bony pieces right in the middle, I'm gonna to go to the right still, and I'm gonna push that bony piece to the left as I turn to the right. So that's another way of trying to get more motion through the thoracic spine in regards to your joints with a ther uh, theracane. If I go up here a little higher, turn to the right, if I go in that upper area. All right, guys, uh, try that out. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment below. If you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel, guys. Catch you later.